In this video we're going to talk about hair texture and why we do it and what it does to the hair. So let's just jump right into it. So my go-to scissor for dry cutting is a Cobalt Classic 6 inch handcrafted scissor. I just love the finish I get with it. So that's my go-to scissor and that's the one I'm going to be using today. So on this mannequin that we cut the other on another hair tutorial which you can check out in one of my other videos it's very important to understand where to even start texturizing. You got to keep your sections clean as always but you can see my first section is pretty high up on the head. So I'm going to be showing you three different techniques that I like to use and the first one being is when we take that first section I twist it so we got about an inch big section uh, fairly big and chunky and I'm just twisting it around to combine all the hair together and then cutting into it on an angle you can see my scissors aren't going directly in and I'm only closing it halfway but again when I'm closing the blade I'm actually cutting when I drag the scissor back instead of forward so I'm not pushing the hair it's very important look a lot of people try this and they screw this up all the time but I'm twisting the hair to combine all the hair together and then I want to give it a really choppy look so I'm going in and closing it halfway. You can see it right here and you can see it's taking quite a bit of hair out. This technique does take a lot of hair out of the hair to break up that bottom line. Now let me slow it down for you so you can see how much hair is actually coming out. It's quite a bit and it does take a lot of practice to sort of master this technique. You can't just go in and start cutting holes in people's hair. So as I'm working my way around, I basically take three sections across the side of the head here just to really break it up. The idea is to take the weight out and give it a really choppy finish on the ends. Now the second technique I'm going to show you is point cutting. So why do we do point cutting? Because we don't want straight lines. So this is another technique that I feel like a lot of people do it wrong or don't do it enough maybe to make a difference. So I see all the time people doing this technique and talking about it but they're just chipping into the very ends of the hair. They're not even going deep enough to make a difference or to get the result that we're looking for with this technique. So if I'm just going into the very ends you can't even tell. It, you've got to go deep enough into the hair like this to make a difference to that bottom line. So the third technique that I like to talk about today is called carving or scooping is where we drag the scissor through the hair slightly closing it taking the most weight out. So it's very important you know how to cut hair or know how to hold your scissor. You can see only one blade's moving. I only move my thumb so when I'm closing I'm not closing it all the way but I'm closing my thumb halfway through. So it's important that you learn your techniques and why you do or why we do them. So the next section I take is one of the most important sections because that's where the majority of the weight is in the hair I feel like. So when I combined all three techniques together, this is basically what it looks like when we're combining all three different techniques into the one section. Let me show you the difference. I've only texturized one side of this mannequin. So on the other side, I'm going to use the ice from the Salon Guy. It's got a medium hold, a lot of shine. It's got a really cool finish to it. But I'm going to put that on one side just to flatten that out because that side is pretty much all one length with hardly any texture in it. 
And on the other side, I'm going to use the Locked Hairspray from the Salon Guy. I love this product. It's my favorite product at the moment. It's got a matte finish with a medium hold. But you can see here, all the texture. It brings all that texture out that we just put into the mannequin. I love this finish. It's awesome. Have a look at all that texture. It's awesome. I love these techniques. And I really hope that you guys have enjoyed watching this video and you've gotten a little something out of it. If this is the first time you've come across one of my videos, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification so you know when I upload next. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up, it would be so appreciated.